Welcome to Crokinole Center and welcome to the final match of the day of the first ever Elmira Winter Crokinole Classic. Between these two worthy combatants who have fought and battled and scraped and scrapped their way to the finals, Ron needed to defeat Nathan Walsh in his semifinal match, Connor Ryman defeating Justin Slater in their semifinal match to make it all the way here to this race to 11 to determine the final champion and winner of the day. Ron Langell first to act drains that open 20. Both of these players very dialed in in that department. Ryman the first to miss. Let's see if Langell can take advantage of this opportunity. Gets the takeout, but absolutely left the door open for Ryman to work his way back into this match. He's going to be looking for a takeout 20 rather than a rather than a, just a touch 20. With uh, sitting across from someone who's so successful with his open 20s, definitely need that takeout, which he secures. See quite a crowd gathering there in the background. It's been a great day. People are eager to see who comes out on top of this battle. Lange will come up so a little bit short. Oh, what a great opportunity for Ryman, which he squanders. Yikes. That would have been a fantastic shot for Langel to drain. Now, he does have two on the board. They're even in the 20 cup, but Ryman has the final shot of this round. Ops for just the single takeout in hopes that Ron is unable to convert this into a 20. Yikes. Very interesting, although this should be, Ryman Wayne out his options, but it should be fairly straightforward for him to get a takeout. There it is. Wins it on the board. I say fairly straightforward, but it, he still wisely took an extra couple seconds to consider what was gonna happen there and make sure he was able to successfully win that round. Ryman up two nothing, first act in the second round. Takeout, but again, he leaves it a little close to the hole. Ron is so sharp with those takeout 20s around the center hole. Here he's been left with another one. Let's see if he can convert that. Bit of a heavy hanger. Oh, just a titch off with his angle. Ryman says, watch this. This is how it's done. Back to their open 20s battle. Now Ron comes up short on his open 20 attempt. Let's see if Ryman can convert this. He can. Oh, that would have secured the round. He's left the door open for Ron to... If Ron had secured that open 20, that, or sorry, that uh, takeout 20, they would have tied and been 1-1. But instead, Ryman takes a 4-0 lead in this race to 11 matchup. Quickly getting back to action, Ron starts out with an open 20. Ryman goes long. Let's see if Langell can pull this back and keep control. Does not, so there could be Ryman going for a takeout and then off the peg, but uh, missed it. Langell attempting the bump and run, which was absolutely the right decision in order to pull his shooter back away from those pegs and eliminate that opportunity. Now, if he's able to secure this takeout 20, He'll be in a commanding position. He'd have been in a commanding mission a position in this round, but instead it jams up. Not a terrible thing, because he left himself set up for this shot. Converts that open 20. Now the black that is left, uh, that black is gonna be a fairly easy takeout. The other one is not in an ideal position for Ron. Ryman did him a bit of a favor there by moving that, I think. Ron decides to keep play to the outside. He does not want to give Ryman opportunities for 20s. Wisely continues to keep play outside. Last shot incon inconsequential. Bringing this match to 4-2 in favor of Ryman.
Ryman taking an extra second to reset before he starts this round. Now right back to business. Ooh, Langell first to miss goes a little bit long. Ryman likely to try to pull this back on him. Unable to pull it back, but not a bad spot. It's not gonna be easy for Ron to use a peg off that. Doesn't even try, just tries to work play back toward the middle. Nice rollout on Ryman's part. I'm wondering if there's an opportunity there. Ron should at least be able to angle in probably the 20. Yeah, it'd be pretty skinny to get the 20. A good attempt for sure. Ryman again says, get out of the house. Langell again bringing it back in. A little bit of a chess match going on here. See what Ryman does with this one. Again, rolling it out. Back and forth battle. Both players kind of having a chuckle at, uh, at that little disagreement they're having. Oh, again, Langell so close on that. Ryman pulls it back to his side. Ryan has no choice but to peel. Opening the door for Connor to drop another open 20. If he can secure this one that, oh, he can't. Same situation, let's see if Ron can convert it this time. Oh! That almost, yeah, you could almost put those videos on top of each other. They looked very, very similar. A Couple of missed opportunities there for Ron. Nonetheless, he is down six to two in this race to 11. Ron misses on his first open 20. Quickly moving this round into the, uh, the battle of board control. Good shot by Ron, he kept it in the house. We'll see, I don't know, Ryman may just go for the 20 off of this. He did, yeah. Probably not seeing a great opportunity to get play away from the middle. He said, you know what, let's just, uh, let's just get after it and get that 20. Both players right back to business. Ryman misses this time. He went long. He has hammer, so Ron still needs to make something happen here and manufacture a 20 or a hide at some point. Now I wonder, he'll probably go for the takeout 20 on this. This may be the, may, oh, may have been his best opportunity of the round. Went for it. Let's see if he left it too close. Looks like Ryman is dropping off to the side to perhaps go for a drop back 20. It's a little far away, but we'll see what he does with it. I think that's what he was going for, but at least he left it in a good spot. Ron's gonna need to follow through 20. Unable to convert. Now all Ryman needs is a takeout to secure this round, which he gets. Up eight to two. Fantastic takeout 20 in the highlight reel there for uh, for Ryman. Looks like a basic shot, but when you really need it, it gets that much tougher. A little off on his open 20. Now Langell gonna look to play the board control game. That's a good spot. Ryman really let that slip outside the house. Probably gonna be forced to peel at this point. Force play back to the middle. Hope to draw a mistake out of Ron, which he does. Ron's still having hammer, is in pretty good shape here. Now it's gonna be up to Ryman to make something happen. Ron's gonna to look to secure this takeout and not set up an opportunity. Didn't get the takeout. He's still not in bad shape, but he's gonna to need to be careful here. Ryman settling for the takeout. Gonna look for the double here. Oh, almost getting the follow through 20 as well. Let's see if Ron can convert this into the 20. Not able to convert it, but still in good shape. Oh, fantastic takeout. Uh, unfortunately, Ron's, Ron's button is out in the five and not in the 10, yep. Forced to peel, he knows that uh, 
he either needs a 20 or he needs, yeah, he needs a 20 here or he needed more than 20 points left on the board in order to secure this round. Again, very, very close on his angle in 20, just a titch off. That uh, another opportunity to tie around there. Although even one point at a time is a tough way to tough way to win a match. <laughs> Ron has his back firmly against the wall at this point. Misses that open 20. Ryman pushes for the follow through. These two players having a battle of follow through 20s. Both of them close, but just a little off. Ron likely forced to peel now. Someone's got to tell these players to slow down a little bit to make commentary easier, but I don't think they really care about that in the moment. Back to business on the open 20s. Oh, nice takeout 20 by Ron. Opportunity here. Oh, it was, uh, it was set up in a little bit of a challenging spot where the, a direct follow through probably would have put Ryman's button straight into a peg. Ron comes up short. He went from in control of this round to it's a little bit dicey at this point. Yeah, he needs a takeout 20 to even force Ryman to shoot. Does not get it. That settles it. Ryman doesn't even need the, that last shot. Fantastic win. Yet another win for Connor Ryman. He is absolutely on fire. Hope you've enjoyed this Crokinole Center content. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube love things, and we will see you in the future. Make it a great day.